So Samir, I'm here as you asked. Now you wanna tell me more about this idea. The C, um what was it? You learning Gina, you learning. Well Gina, our organization has grown a lot. We now have many more people, different departments and different working hours. Yes. Not everyone who wants to, or needs to, has been able to get the training that's available for them. Maybe their shift time or their family circumstances made the training course impossible to get to. If we offer some of our training in an e-learning format this would give people more options. Ah. Uh, well, I don't know. Can you tell me more about it? Glad you asked. Take a look. To Educational News Now. E-learning provides multiple benefits according to educators and the business community. And hey do you know what else? Sure do Paul. It's growing. According to eIndustry.com e-learning was a $56 billion industry in 2014 and it's expected to double within a few years. But let's see what our viewers think. Sometimes I can't get away. Or training department books me for a course that is right during my busy time. If the learning module is something I can do by e-learning then I have a few more options. I can schedule myself out of action for regular work and do some here. Or I can organize some work from home time and do it there. I do a lot of shift work so being able to do small chunks of the learning module at a time, at home, suits me better. When I am doing a bit better I am going to do one of the e-learning modules my manager uploaded for me, that will be a good way to ease back into work routine. Oh great idea, which ones have you got to do? I've got a couple of modules to do for my work too. Maybe we can swap ideas. I have finished work. Now I am going to see what the facilitator loaded in for us this week. I like going into our shared classroom for our classes. Me too. I've just logged off but you will see my posts in our chat room. Bye. Ciao. Well I am super eager now. Oh boy. Well, e-learning certainly can be a great way to learn. As with any learning approach, there are some tips and traps. Make sure you set aside some dedicated time, in the appropriate environment. Make sure you have the right hardware and software set up. Get this sorted out before you start. Even though you may be doing it alone, at home, you will still need to do some study. This may mean research, reading or investigation, as your online facilitator directs you. Right. E-learning isn't necessarily easy learning, it is just a different platform than classroom learning. To get the most out of it, like with anything, you need to learn more about it. And, put your best into it. It can usually still be collaborative with online discussions and interactions. Thanks Samir. Very useful information, 